The glass panel for the base is assembled just like the shade. Using the pattern supplied, cut out your glass, apply the copper foil to each piece, flux your copper lines, and apply your solder just like with the lampshade. To finish up, brush on your patina, cleaning off your glass and put it aside to dry. To assemble your base, take item A, which was the four 10 inch long pieces, and cut off a 45 degree miter on each end. Be sure to save the miter scrap for your final assembly. Glue and clamp these together to form a square base. You can either use a strong wood glue or an epoxy for added strength and a quicker set time. Next, take item B, which was your 7 and 1 16th piece, and place it in the middle of the base touching two sides. Also glue or epoxy this, clamp it, and put the whole assembly aside to dry. Next, for item C, take the two interior uprights at eight and a quarter inches. Using your table saw, we're gonna make a one quarter inch by one quarter inch dado cut running the full length of the two inside of the interior upright. This dado cut forms the track or channel that will hold the base glass panel in place. Next, take one exterior upright and using your table saw, make a 3 8 by 3 8 deep dado cut along the full length of one of the two inch sides. This will make the channel for your electric wire for your light. At the end of the same piece, make a 3 8 by 3 8 dado notch to allow for the wire to come out of the uprights. Next, glue one interior and one exterior upright together with the glass channel on the outside and the wire channel hidden. It is recommended that you insert your wire at this time to save from having to fish the wire through the channel later. Clamp and put aside to dry. Next, drill a one half inch hole, one half inch from each e either end. This will act as a channel for the wire for the upright into the cross piece. Next, we will drill a one half inch hole in the middle of the top cross piece. This is where the wire will exit the channel and be attached to your light socket. Glue or epoxy these pieces together, running your wire through the proper holes for later wiring.
when all of the glued joints have either dried or cured, sand excess glue off as needed and apply the stain and finish you want for your base. To assemble the lamp body, glue or epoxy your uprights to the base so that they straddle the base and the base cross piece like this. I used an epoxy for a quicker set time. Be sure that the glass channel is matched up and on the inside. Your electric cord should be sticking out the side of the upright at the base. Next, slide your glass into the track. This should be a snug fit, but not so tight as to torque the piece of glass. Take your miter scrap and glue or epoxy that to the base at the uprights to act as a brace. Put aside to dry. glue or epoxy the upright cross piece in place, taking care to make sure that the wire feeds from the upright into the cross piece correctly, then out the hole in the middle of the top. After these joints have dried and cured, install your harp and wire your socket according to the manufacturer's instructions. Add a plug to the far end of the wire, put in a bulb, attach a shade to the harp with your finial, plug it in, turn it on, your project is complete.